Well, good evening to you. We are at this small blueberry patch behind Forsyth County Cooperative Extension in Winston-Salem. And if you look very closely here, you can see how some of these below freezing temperatures have already killed some of the berries. Is that dead? And, uh, that's dead, yeah. If you, if you open that up, it's, it's bad on the inside. So. Most Agriculture agent Tim Hambrick is showing us the buds that are completely open because of their exposure to temperatures below 28 degrees. He suspects they are more than likely already dead. He suspects at least 10 percent of the blueberries in this area may be lost because of this cold snap. He says the trouble started in February when we got all those days of 70 degree weather and went downhill from there. The February weather pushed things anywhere from two to about four weeks ahead of schedule. Mm -hmm. So we're paying the price. Then the cold just killed off tissue that cannot take that kind of weather. He says strawberries are also in trouble. We got these pictures from Mabe's Berry Farm in Walnut Cove. They have a cover on the berries to protect them from freezing to death. They're irrigating on top of that. Christy Mabe Rogers told me that her family has never worked this hard in the history of the farm to save their berries. She hopes customers appreciate the results later. Now the strawberries are usually ready for picking by May. The blueberries in June or July, they say the agent tells us it may be sooner though because of all of this wacky weather that we've been seeing. Live in Winston-Salem, Margaret Johnson, WXII 12 News.